All right, today I'm going to start making a, a transmission jack adapter. Um, not sure how I'm going to go about the jack yet, but I got to make the top plate, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. So there's my plate, and uh, I got a sucker in my mouth, by the way. I can give her a couple of goes. I can spit it out. What I'm trying to say. So I'm going to scribe a line diagonally. The hole was already there. It's actually a broken weld off a piece of pole. It was used to hold the sign up anyways. So I'm going to drill four holes on the drill press. Get that all scribed out. So I measure an inch and a quarter from the corner. I got all the corner center punched as you can see. And so I'm going to drill. So what I got going on here is uh, a welding magnet with an off and on switch so it keeps the filings from you know getting all over the ground and shit and always making a mess. So what you do is you put the magnet there and then you just flick the switch off when you get over to the garbage and it uh, makes for easy cleanup, you know what I mean? So now we're going to, got it all pre-drilled, now we're going to do uh, 9 sixteenths. Great, so I like to keep my drill bits lasting long, so I use a little oil, put a little splash of oil. Makes the drill bit last twice as long. Okay, so there's our plate. Now I'm going to take some flat bar. I'm going to plasma cut slots. And I'm going to bend the flat bar up like that to 90 degree after, so it's adjustable. So I got my four pieces of flat bar cut, cut them at 8 inches long. I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I made a line at 3 inch on all of them. And then I measured an inch from here, because that's going to be my 90 degree bend. So I'm going to heat that up with the torch and bend it up 90 degrees. And then this is going to be my slot. For a half inch bolt, so I got to drill here and here where it's marked, and then I'll get my plasma cutter and connect the the two holes, which will give me a slot, and it'll uh, look really good. Yeah. Okay, so what I did, cleaned her all up on both sides. I screwed one up a little bit. This one, she's a little, little wide. Might have to throw a little weld in there after and clean her up with the die grinder again. Anyways, I got this yellow mark on all of them. I'm gonna give it a radius. Looks a little more uh, profesh, if you know what I'm saying. So I'll clean that up and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So I got those all done. They don't look too bad. Now I gotta bend her 90 degrees with the torch. So I got her bent, there's the other three, they're hot, don't want to touch them. Okay, so that's as far as I got today, I got to go and buy some hardware, some half inch bolts and wing nut more than likely so you can adjust it, slide it. So my plan is to repurpose the wheels on this chair, torch the bottom off as you can see, but I think I'm going to have clearance issues with my bottle jack, meaning when the car is jacked up and you try to get the transmission down it's going to be too tall so I'm still planning on using those wheels just not sure if I'm going to use this bottle jack now anyways thanks for watching part one of uh, the transmission jack build I guess whatever you want to call it and uh, give me a like and a comment until next time cheers